In today's video, we have Camden, and what he is going to be learning today is the ability to shoot the basketball off the dribble, and we're going to be also working on ball control drills. So make sure to go down in the comments down below and say great work and good job to Camden because he worked extremely hard, and it did start raining in this training session as well. So hit that like button, subscribe, let's get down to these drills. In this first drill, we're going to be doing some ball control over a hurdle, a quick crossover, and then we're going to go into an in and out crossover jab, and then we're going to attack the basket and be able to shoot that mid-range shot or go for the floater. Now, the idea here is to really work on our ball control with both hands. We're going to be going in both directions, but we're also going to be really looking to be able to shoot off that dribble. When you're attacking the basket, you really only want to dribble the ball at least at this age, maybe three times. When you're attacking the basket, no more than three dribbles, so that's one. This is our second dribble, and then our third dribble, and then we're going to go up for a shot. Camden tried to go for three dribbles, not four like we've seen there, but that is a fantastic drill that you can run as well. In this next clip, we're going to be really working on our one-hand passes. Now, Camden is a quarterback, so these one-hand passes are extremely easy and really hard. <laughs> but at the same time, that is a fantastic drill because now we're working on ball control. We're working on our ability to pass with one hand, which is something that every player needs to learn how to do anyways. And then we're going in shuffling out and attacking the basket, receiving that ball and going in for a layup. Now, later on, after we work on layups, we could go into a mid-range shot, different type of cuts that you can use as well. So there are options there out of this drill, but this is kind of the more basic level while working on that passing skill. And then being able to receive and do the layup without any dribbles. Next is going to be passing behind the back. Now, watch the difference between this heavy ball and a regular ball. You're gonna see how the regular ball is actually a much easier and better pass. Now, the idea here is with the heavy ball, it's going to be a harder and that's going to help teach Camden to do a harder pass behind the back. Now, I understand why some coaches may say you never wanna pass behind the back, but it's actually a quite handy pass. As we can see here, see how much better that pass was versus the heavy basketball. Now, with the heavy basketball, again, it's there to get you stronger so that when you go back to a regular ball, it's much easier, as we can see right here. Fantastic drill. It's going to really help with your ball control, your ability to do different things like behind the back passes, which is something that a lot of players neglect to even practice because their coaches will say it's a circus shot, so they don't want them to do them. But when it comes to game, uh, in a game, things happen. You may have defenders in a situation where you want to get a pass to somebody, and the only way you can do it is from behind your back. So you might as well practice it, and it also does help with ball control too, so why not? Next is going to be two over two pylons and then one back. So you're basically bouncing the ball over two pylons and then moving into a shot. Now, coming off of that last dribble, we want to go right foot, left foot into a shot. Now, we're working on ball control, but also footwork as well going into that jump shot. Now, you can go into a layup at first if you wanted to. I prefer right today to go into a shot because we were already working on layups anyways. And then obviously, whatever you do on one hand, whatever you do on your right hand, you have to do on your left hand as well. Now, when you're going towards your right side, which is in this drill with your left hand, we're going to be looking to do the footwork of left, right. That is going to help us be able to take our shot. Now, Cannon there did a quick little sidestep. Now, depending on the situation, you, you can do either or. I was really trying to focus on going left foot, right foot if we could, and then being able to control the ball. Now, here, this is a different drill yet again, but we're still using those same pylons. Instead of going ahead two dribbles and then one back, now we're going through our legs. So over and back that pylon and then through the legs. Lots of ball control here 
to be able to, again, understand where that ball is going, being able to control that ball in certain situations. So if you've ever had a coach say, wow, that player has a ba the basketball on a string, this is essentially what he is talking about. The ability to control that ball no matter where it is, being able to maneuver that ball with your hand on top of the ball without carrying it is a fantastic skill that every player needs to learn how to do and a lot of players don't do this until they're in their older ages when they're forced to become ball handlers if they're maybe not ball handlers right now so definitely try this drill uh, definitely do this drill with pretty much any age of player I do this drill with a lot of younger players, but even some older players as well who are in their high school ages, mainly because, again, ball control is just so important and being able to move that ball smoothly, no matter where it is around your body, is going to drastically change your game for the better. Anyways, I hope that this video has helped you become a better basketball player, or if you're a trainer or coach, I hope that this these drills help your players become better as well. So that's today's video. We got a little bit wet, as we can uh, see. Yeah. A little bit raining. How did you like today? It was awesome. Did you learn Make anything? sure to hit the subscribe button and click the like button below. Did you learn anything? Yes, I did. There you go. High five.